since you're probably watching this in early 2022, January 2022, I want to talk about new e-bikes. The look of the bike is not important to me. The community, not important to me because I don't live in Los Angeles, okay? <laughs> I don't live in Los Angeles where I could do group rides. I like to get a folding electric bike. That's where the market seems to be going. They seem to be going younger and younger on the bicycle. The other segment of the market that I see it trending is electric e-bikes that are becoming motorcycles. That's my uh, thoughts on the new bicycles for 2022. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Members, thank you for watching. Everybody else, thank you for watching. What's up guys? How y'all doing? What is going on? Oh, love, love the clubhouse. Enjoy it every time I go. So this uh, ride, since you're probably watching this in early 2022, January 2022, I want to talk about new e-bikes. I'm going to go. So let's, let's talk about new e-bikes. Now, I'm not going to talk about a particular e-bike, but just e-bikes in general. I'm not going to get a new e-bike, but in the future, this is the kind of e-bike that I'm looking for. But I'll also talk about e-bikes that I think are going to be popular and most likely produced. So, let me start off by the type of e-bike that I'm looking for. All right, I already got a Rad Rover. I'm happy with the Rad Rover, okay? It is 100% mostly pure stock, okay? I haven't, I haven't upgraded it, no new controller, no bat, new battery, it's everything stock. And uh, the accessories, the, the basket, the rear rack, the rear basket, the small rear basket, the bags, all from Rad Power Bikes, okay? I have it set up the way I like it. I don't want to change it. It's good. Original controller, original motor, so I'm okay. Other than some accessories like the like the extended bar mount, the lights, the mirror, mirror. There's really not much I need to do. Okay, I'll give you like my profile. I like pedaling. All right, but if I like pedaling so much, why don't I get a regular bike? Because I don't like. Sorry, it's passing, passing the uh, lawnmower. Uh, I also don't. Uh, I also want to use that throttle right here when I get tired, or when I come up to a dead stop and and go. That's why I like about the electric bike, and plus the pedal says helps me get there faster and lets me ride all day all right so before people talk about how i like pedaling so much why don't i get a regular bicycle i i did have a regular bicycle you know how often i rode that bike zero not very often and plus all the stuff i carry it helps to have the electric bike so now that you know that I, I do like pedaling. I don't. I prefer to have my electric bicycle look like a bicycle. Okay. I like. I like the fact that uh, I can get off-the-shelf products, like off-the-shelf 
I could find off the shelf bicycle parts. I could find off the shelf bicycle parts. I'm watching out for the high school kids. They're just leaving school probably early. Early, these are probably the seniors. Early dismissed. Um, I, I like the fact that I could find off the shelf bicycle parts and use it on this bicycle. I don't have to have someone 3D print or make a special part for me, you know? So I like that. I love the maintenance, easy ease of maintenance. So that's kind of what I'm coming where I'm coming from, okay? Does the look the looks aren't important to me. The look of the bike is not important to me. The community not important to me because I don't live in Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> I don't live in Los Angeles where I could do group rides of or go to the manufacturers, you know, or the company's headquarters and do test rides. 99% of, of the of the consumer market will not have that opportunity. So I I just don't care for that. But I, what I do care about is that I'm able to get customer service. It helps to also it also helps to <laughs> kids. This guy's gonna try to pass me up. All right. It also helps to uh, have a a presence in, in the country you're selling your bike. Like I'm in America, so having some kind of employee headquarters somewhere in America where I can call if I have issues and also uh, support issues with parts, issues with the bike, especially warranty. That's important to me. And also, I want to buy a bike that you actually have in stock. No Indiegogo, no GoFundMe or Kickstarter or whatever, crowdfunding, prepay, none of that. Because I don't want to waste my time with ridiculous lead times. I don't want to give my money to, to someone for two years before they come up with something. So unless you actually have something physical in stock, I'm not even bothered looking. So that's, that's the bike I'm looking for. So so now that I got that out of the way, I'll tell you a little bit about the bike. And then after that, I'll talk about some of the trends that I'm seeing in the electric bike industry. All right. Oh, so I can make it across the uh, street here without getting killed. All right, so the type of electric bike that I'm looking for is uh, a, I like to get a folding electric bike that is lighter, preferably under 50 pounds because I already have a red mini, but I like something a little bit with a smaller footprint. It'd be nice if it can come with fat tires, but not necessary. So that's the new bike I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that I can travel with because my plan and goal is to travel and I like to have an electric bike. I'll let him go. So that's that's my plan. Lady watch out. Thank you. All right. So Okay, so I'm looking for a folding electric bike that has a very light weight, lightweight, less than 50 pounds if possible, smaller footprint. Uh, it'd be nice if it did have fat tires, but uh, not necessary. But if it had wide tires, I wouldn't mind. Uh, skinny tires is okay, because I, I like to go off-road. Um, suspension, full suspension if possible, if possible. I'm not really into hydraulic brakes because, you know, not, I don't know how often, I, don't, I never owned hydraulic brakes. I never owned hydraulic brakes, so I can't really 
say the difference between a mechanical brake, but all I know is that it's way easier to maintain a mechanical brake as far as parts and when you're riding and you have something wrong with your hydraulic brake. Mechanical brake you can probably fix yourself. There's a really good chance you can fix yourself. Alright, this car stopped. Nice. Alright, oh, watch out. Alright, I'm gonna do the jump real quick. Oh, that felt a little deeper. Anyways, uh, so if I have any issues, I want to be able to fix the bike, remove the tires, fix the flat with basic bicycle tools, okay? I don't want special tools. Full suspension would be nice. If not, at least the front fork. Because I could get a suspension seat post for extra, you know, for a couple hundred bucks. Just get a suspension, suspension seat post. And uh, hopefully it is powerful enough. And I know the prices of things are going up, but if it could be under $2,000, uh, that's, that's the wishful thinking on my end, under $2,000. Under $2,000 price range. And the battery, you know, it'd be nice if they had more more powerful batteries, longer lasting batteries, because, uh, you know, you, you think after several years they would come up with better battery technology or, or a larger capacity, but something reasonable, 700, 700 to 750 amp hour of uh, battery power, ideally. I mean, because, you know, this anything that's 650 or close to 700, or a little bit under 700. I mean, that's that's been on that's been on bicycles for a long time now. They should be uh, upping the battery power because that's where the uh, that's the only thing you can really change on the on the bicycle. It's the battery power. So that's the bicycle I'm looking for. Now I'm going to talk about future bicycles that I'm seeing a trend in, and the biggest trend that I'm seeing is people going to. Well, first of all, there's a trend. Right now, there's a trend for BMX electric bikes, which I guess there's there might be a market. I'm not sure. I think it, I think that whole idea is ridiculous. Everyone's focused on on I guess the young, the young crowd. I guess because <laughs> the younger you are, the more ignorant you are. That's my guess, anyway. I'm not sure. That's what it seems like the market... Ugh, hit that side. That's where the market seems to be going. They seem to be going younger and younger on the bicycle. There's two... I see two trends going. I see two trends going on bicycles. Uh, the style of the bicycles are for the younger market. Younger age segment group. Like, uh, like the, uh, the Red Runner. The... Uh, Super 73s, the, uh, what's the other one, Aerial Rider, the uh, Grizzly, and there's other style of bikes, those Taco, Moto e-bike kind of style. And I guess, I guess, my assumption is they're going that way because uh, I guess there's a, there's a market for younger riders who would want something like that. I don't know why, because if it's so heavy, you can't do anything BMX on that bicycle. Oh, there's a big lawnmower right there. I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, he's gonna cut. He's gonna cut the grass. I can see the vultures hanging around. dust in my eye so uh, expect like kids bike electric kids bike like literally electric bicycles that are made for kids looks like middle school is about to get out 
Oh yeah, today's gonna be my last day riding. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I just see too many, too many uh, cars for my uh, liking. So electric bikes, they're made for kids. BMX, BMX style and whatever else, Red Runner style or Super 73 style, lower end, low end, low costing electric bikes. A lot of cars out here. A lot of cars. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here, jeez. All right, so. Uh, so, uh, I'm just looking at all the cars. So, uh, that's, that's one trend that I see, electric bicycles for like literally kids. You know, middle school, high school, maybe even elementary, that are like two to three thousand dollars. Okay, those are gonna be some heavy bikes, but whatever. And then um, the other segment of the market that I see it trending is electric e-bikes that are becoming motorcycles like the Saran, Segways, or whatever, 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 whatever it is, you know, you've seen them. They look like motorcycles, but they have pedals on them. So now they're electric bicycles. That's not, you know, that's, I don't know. Anyways, uh, nothing that I would really own too heavy. I wouldn't ride it here. You know, I don't want to ruin my I don't want to ruin the good thing I have here, so I wouldn't even try to have that kind of bike here. And then you got those like Super 73 aerial riders. All they can do, other than change, oh, it's a little bit wet out here. Getting the little drops. Let me, let me. I feel a little drop, sorry. I'm just trying to cover the uh, lens. So, so other than uh, the style of the bike or the frame of the bike, there's really not much you can do with the bike. You have to give it more battery power. And that's the only thing you can do at this point is give it more battery power. Bump the uh, controller amp. So you're seeing a trend where these electric bicycles Sorry, I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to make sure that the lens is clean. That these electric bicycles are now becoming electric motorcycles. They're just putting pedals on them. They're still technically bicycles, electric bicycles. But really, they become motorcycles. So you're seeing more of that, more of that trend going on. So, which either, either trend that I see, I'm not really interested in. I think the largest market is going to be just your regular bicycles that's been electrified. Oh, the trash truck. That's going to be your biggest market. I think that's still going to be your biggest market. That just regular bicycles that have been turned into electric bicycles. Kind of like the Rad Rover that kind of style or the red wagon or that's what I'm familiar with so those bikes will probably be the larger segment I think uh, a lot of these companies are moving away from that because they can't compete with some of the bigger brands or the brands that are out there right now that dominate the market you gotta always remember the 80 20 or the 90 90 10 rule that 10 percent of the producers own 90% of the market, really. So I think a lot of these other niche companies are going into that, are going into that uh, whole, uh, you know, giving more power, turning into more, more motorcycle or going to market to kids. 
anyways, that's my uh, thoughts on the new bicycles for 2022. 20, nothing, nothing specific, but there seems to be a general push to turn electric bicycles into electric motorcycles, or turn or, or produce electric bicycles for your elementary, your middle school, and your high schoolers. Anyways, let me let me make this turn here. So, please, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, members, thank you for watching, everybody else, thank you for watching, see y'all next time, bye, bye.